Boom. What's up, Monday Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about uh, cryptocurrency and how you should start putting this as part of your portfolio. So if you don't have crypto at all, or, or you're one of those people that is kind of worried or don't really trust crypto, I would say it's about time you start changing your mind and start putting a little bit into your portfolio. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, when it comes to cryptocurrency, I know a lot of people that are still kind of like, huh, I don't really trust that thing. It's something I, I can't touch it. I can't feel it. I don't even know what it is. Um, so why would I be putting money into it? So if I know if you fall in that camp, I'll uh, say so take your time. Um, do some research. Understand uh, what crypto is. At least or find somebody that can give you a better understanding of what crypto is. So if you take, for instance, Bitcoin, it has value because people put value on it. If you take gold, gold has value because we put value on gold. So if you trust gold because it's tangible, the only reason why gold is that important or is that valuable is because humans put the value on it. Likewise, with Bitcoin, I know that you probably thinking I can't touch Bitcoin. I can't feel it. It's not something I can carry with me. Uh, but yet you understand that digital assets are actually assets. Uh, again, I'm talking, let's say for instance, a software. When you go to Facebook.com, that's a whole product that you're using. That whole software that you're using is a product. It's a digital product. You can't touch Facebook. You can't feel it, but you can interact with the product. So it's the same thing with uh, Bitcoin, in my opinion. So again, the reason why you should start looking into cryptocurrency is because more and more Wall Street and also companies are starting to adopt uh, cryptocurrency. We're moving in that direction, whether you like it or not. It's just where we're going. So if you wait and you're the last person to get in, guess what happens? You're going to get in late and you're not going to benefit. So right now, if you don't have it, I would say find like the top uh, currencies like like Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Polkadot, Solana, like the, the key ones, the ones that are solid. I'm not talking about meme tokens. I'm talking about the solid ones and start investing. Even if it's just 5% of your portfolio, start putting in into that, uh, into cryptocurrency. So in here is my personal strategy. So maybe this can definitely help you. You know, I've actually talked about building a solid portfolio. I've talked about breaking down your portfolio into three uh, different areas, three different parts where you have what I call your long term, you have what I call swing trade, and then obviously you can do some day trading. So those are the three areas or how I approach the market. I used to say that just for stocks and, and securities. Now I'm doing the exact same thing for crypto because it was just like, hey, I'll buy some Ethereum and just hold it um, and, and go forever. Uh, but now I'm starting to think the same effort that I put in building a solid portfolio with my stocks, I'm starting to do that with crypto because crypto is here to stay whether you like it or not. More and more, again, like I said, companies are adopting and studying accept Bitcoin as payment. Uh, there was a, an article that came out where they said more and more mayors are starting to accept payments in cryptocurrency, in Bitcoin, in Ethereum. So which means that they see the value. People have money in, in, that, in that space and they want to spend it. So why wouldn't you want to accept that money when you know you can actually take that money and use it to do other things? So again, start. You don't have to start big. Just start small. And the good thing about uh, crypto is that it's fractional. You, you can buy uh, half of a Bitcoin. You can buy a quarter of a Bitcoin, one tenth of a Bitcoin, uh, depending on your budget. So start putting money in, in that space. So for me, I have uh, currently built, I'm building a portfolio uh, in cryptocurrency where I have long term, where you have my stuff like Bitcoin and Ethereum um, and Polkadot and Solana. Uh, Avalanche, all those are going to stay in there. And the reason why is because those are, those are stable. Those are good ones. Those are platforms. Those are like the building block of all the, 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 the cryptos that we have today. And then I, I have some that I would call my swing where I see opportunities. I can buy and hold for maybe a month or so and then make some profit and then take that profit and dump it into my stable coins. 
and then you have the meme section in this case that would be what you call like day trading in my in my opinion uh, that is, that's the equivalent but if the meme section where you buy meme tokens like dogecoin like shiba and i've actually done videos here on on the channel where i tell you like hey if you want to get into the meme section if you have 50 bucks or 100 bucks that you don't care losing and you can dump it in there and just watch it and hopefully it can turn into a thousand dollars into two thousand dollars then you can take that money and invest it into your more stable coin Again, the point I want to drive home here is that if you don't have cryptocurrency as part of your portfolio, I'll say that you're missing out. And by the time you get into this space, look at where Bitcoin is currently trading at. Bitcoin is actually sniffing at $70,000. Ethereum is sniffing at $5,000. And so if you're not in this space, you're the one missing out. Because if you had put in 100 bucks in Bitcoin or Ethereum maybe two or three years ago, that would have been easy, at least a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars right now. So don't go big. Start, but make sure you have a position. Start putting at least between one to five percent of your of your portfolio should be cryptocurrency. And then, so the next question is like, but where do I buy cryptocurrency? There, there we have a, a lot of exchanges out there where you can actually buy them, from uh, Coinbase to Weibo to Robinhood. Um, there's a lot of them to Binance, uh, to crypto.com. Um, you, you definitely need to find them, but again, do some homework, do your due diligence because, uh, buying crypto is one thing, uh, storing crypto and securing it is another. If you have maybe a thousand dollars in crypto, that's fine. You can just leave it in the exchange. Um, uh, but when you start going into hundreds of thousands and millions, you might want to secure that very well because if you don't secure it in a wallet you can potentially lose that money and in wallets you have our uh your your cold wallet and your hot wallet so a cold wallet would mean something that you put your crypto in and it's completely offline nobody can access that it's like you can put it like in a flash drive or physical storage device you put that and go put it uh, somewhere in a bank or maybe in a safe deposit box and stuff like that or you could just do keep it online where you have a wallet online that you can access uh, via the internet. So there's, there's different um, options for you here. But a um, point here is start a position in cryptocurrency. So again, that's just uh, the, you know, the vibe for this video. I'm going to do some videos here where I'll talk in depth as to uh, my strategy and why I think uh, crypto is coming and it's not only coming, it's coming huge. Um, we know that um, when the big tech companies decide that they want something to be the, the top of the line, they will do it. Whether you like it or not, I mean, you cannot make that decision. They force it down your throat um, from Facebook to Google to Amazon to Microsoft to Apple. When they decide to go a specific route, everybody follows them. It's just the way it is. Um, I don't make that call, but so the, the, the thing is, do you just blindly follow or you follow with the intention of profiting? So we know that Facebook just recently came out and, and rebranded and changed the name to Meta. So, and that is Metaverse, which is uh, kind of like a virtual wall where you create an avatar of yourself and then you live life the way you want to live in that world. They, you can create your own universe, create your own uh, laws, and you can live in that space. So with NFTs growing in popularity where uh, people can actually buy virtual clothing, virtual um, real estate, virtual cars, um, I mean, this is, this is huge. And you can understand Facebook is pushing people into that space. Um, I don't know how this is going to play out, but the truth is, this is coming. Be ready for it. Uh, with the pandemic that we just had, but more and more people realize like, hey, I don't need to leave my house to live a good life. Some people feel comfortable staying in the house, getting into this virtual world, connecting with other people, having a conversation, drinking virtual drinks, and hopefully doing virtual things and having your first kiss, which is a virtual kiss. Um, I just had to say that. But um, I, my, my whole thing is I want you to position yourself so that you can benefit from this. So I'm going to do another video again here where I'll give you a list of uh, some of the stocks that I'm actually tracking that I think are going to be huge players 
in that uh, metaverse space. And then um, also my top five uh, stable coins that I, I think you should look at buying. Um, and then some meme stocks too. So we didn't cover everything. The whole idea here is if, if there's an opportunity in the market, I want us to benefit from that opportunity. Um, and so crypto is uh, where um, you know people are headed right now. The market is headed in that direction. Wall Street is headed in that direction. Tech is headed in that direction. And I don't see anything that's going to stop it at this point. So if you're not in it, then I'd say it's about time you get in. Even if it's just putting in five bucks a week or five bucks a month, get your foot in the door. That's the best way to get started. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think about is, are you thinking, Mr. V, now crypto is dumb. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Or you'd be like, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I should diversify and start getting in early. Again, early adopters are the people that always make the most money in anything. Imagine the people that invested in Tesla from the very get go. They make a lot of money. Think about people that invested in Airbnb, they made a lot of money. So if you're sitting there waiting, time waits for nobody in the market. If you get in early, you make a lot of money. If you sit around and wait, and you're going to be chasing. And usually that's not good. Because when you're chasing, you're giving the people that started early money. So I want you to be in that situation. And that's the mindset you should cultivate. And that's how you can continue to build your account. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, I have some links in the description below where if you sign up, you get free stocks. I think uh, Mumu right now has one of the best free stocks that you can get. Um, if you sign up right now and deposit any amount, $1, you get five free stocks somewhere between $9 and $3,500. So definitely go check them out. I'll put the links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.